an annual explosive disposal training that brings together public safety departments from around the world was held in Marana earlier this month. Cronkite News reporter Ryan Tismaneski tells us what the main goal of this exercise is. That sound taking over Pinal Air Park just outside Tucson. It's all part of Raven's Challenge, an international exercise funded by the Army and led by the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, more commonly known as the ATF. And everybody comes with a different expertise, and so they're talking the entire time and they're, and they're figuring things out. And, you know, this person may be technical with this, this person may be technical with that, but they come down and they, and they work out these scenarios, these live scenarios. They, they're, they're truly um, something that, that really can't be replicated in too many places. Terror Ravens Challenge, where law enforcement and other public safety departments will undergo simulations. For example, here in this one, a disgruntled employee crashes a vehicle into the front of this aircraft, runs onto it, and throws a backpack onto it. Now, the explosive ordnance and disposal units will take the backpack off, x-ray it, and see what they need to do next. At Ravens Challenge, public safety departments and military from all over the world come together to discuss and practice explosive disarming techniques. And while people do come from all over, local departments don't get left out. So I think this was an excellent opportunity to be able to work with, with different partners that we have um, in the event of a, a really large critical incident, uh, getting this training in now and, and getting those, those relationships and partnerships will, will be beneficial in the event that there is a, a major critical incident where these teams all have to come together. Later this month and throughout the year, three other Ravens challenges will take place across the U.S. In Marana, Ryan Tismaneski, Cronkite News.